All right, everybody, so we're in the shop here. I got the furnace heating up. We're getting there. We're at about 920 degrees Celsius. We got the angle grinder out because we are chopping up some copper piping that I got. So I had a couple feet of some half inch copper pipe, a couple fittings and things like that. And we also have over here a whole bunch of copper tubing. So we got lots of copper to melt down and to pour. So we're getting things going. We got this furnace heating up and we're at 925 degrees Celsius. We've got the uh, mold all ready to go. We're gonna make a couple two or three ounce bars. And uh, that's pretty much it right now. We're just waiting for it to heat up and we'll be back when we start pouring. Right, guys so we're back here at the workbench here are all the bars that we got poured today we got 10 bars i'm so excited we got a bunch made and i got the scale out here and we're going to take a quick look to see what some of these weigh and as you see they are not pretty right now you know they came out okay i mean some of them have these uh interesting lines and ridges and stuff in there but Pretty unique, pretty cool. Lots of weird kind of designs and formations in the molted copper there. So it looks pretty cool. Uh, these will definitely clean up nicely. So they will hopefully turn out to be something like this. After being tumbled for a couple hours, they will get nice and shiny, nice and smooth, and they'll look nice and clean like that. So we got a couple different ones here. This is the smallest one, and that one weighs 1.853, so 1.8 ounces, not too bad. Here's, uh, this one's a little bit thinner, that's 2.3 ounces. 
Here's a chunky one, 2.7, 2.79, 2.7, a lot of 2.7s here, 2.7, 2.4, 2.8, so that one's the heaviest so far. 3.2. Oh man, that's a chunky one. This one's pretty cool. I like that one a lot. So it was at 3.2, and I think this is the chunkiest one, I think. 3.47. Nice. That's a nice fatty there. All right, so we got them all here. What I'm going to do is stamp them. So I have my stamps. These I got from Harbor Freight, and I got, a, uh, I got these with a coupon ended up being like $11 for this set. So pretty inexpensive and they work great. We have all the numbers and letters. And basically, as you see here, I just kind of stamp the weight and then I stamp my initials there, PS for Patriot Stacker. So um, to, for the decimal or for the point, I use just a, uh, a big nail. So just use the point of the nail. I kind of made the tip a little bit more blunt. So it makes a nice little dot to do the decimal place, uh, the decimal in the, uh, in the weight number. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp all these. Um, I was going to do it on camera, but it's going to be a little difficult. So basically, I'll just show you real quick. Let me grab, I have this, uh, this little mini hammer also from Harbor Freight. And I basically um, find a, a nice solid surface and I'll put something underneath it, either like one of these mats or uh, maybe my welding glove or something like that, just underneath there to secure the piece. And I just place it where I, where I want it, you know, find it, make sure it's uh, in the correct direction. And I go and smack it a couple times and it comes out great. You can, uh, you can kind of like angle it a few different ways just to make sure you get this, the full, you know, letter on there, but it's pretty simple. I'll just write my initials. I'll write the weight. I stamp it in and then we're going to put it in the tumbler overnight. I think we're going to do because, uh, I put these ones overnight and they came out really smooth, really shiny. So we'll go ahead and do all that and I'll be back with the final product. Stay tuned. here we go this is the final product they are stamped they are tumbled and they are nice and clean and shined up we got 10 copper bars an average weight of around three ounces and they are just so cool i mean i just love the way they came out they're definitely unique and i just think they look awesome they have some cool swirls to them and I just thought they looked really awesome stacked up in this little pyramid here. All right, so I think they are really cool. We have this real thin one here. This is 1.8 ounces. Pretty thin. You know, they have some kind of weird edges to them. I think I need a new mold. The graphite uh, is starting to wear down. I mean, I could probably sand it and kind of make it a little bit more flat inside the mold because you could tell they are leaving these kind of weird splatter designs which is kind of cool looking but we got all different sizes 2.4 so as small as 1.8 we got a bunch that are 2.7 and we got a couple real chunky ones this is a 3.4 this one's awesome super cool they're all stamped with the PS and the weight. You know, I think they are just awesome. Some of them have really cool ripples in them. Let's see if we can find a cool one here. 
Some of them are smooth, some of them have ripples. So, some of them have like these little extra pieces coming off the side, but I still think it's awesome. Really, really cool. So, those are my copper bars. We had a lot of fun pouring copper. So, we got those here. I got some ones from last time. So, we're getting a nice little copper stack. I think they are so cool. So, please let me know down in the comments, what do you think? What can I be doing differently to maybe make them a little bit more uh, cleaner pours or, you know, a little bit more unique or something fun I could do with this stuff? You know, we might try some sand casting and doing some molding and stuff like that, but I kind of just like these little ingot bars. I think they're cool, you know, and I like to stack them up, so... Let's, uh, let's put these all in a pyramid and see what they look like. Now, how awesome does that look like? Man, we got a bunch of bars. We got that little one ounce round on the top. I think that just looks awesome. Nothing more fun than stacking bars of metals. So that is my copper pour for today. Hope you enjoyed watching me pour and checking out my new copper bars. So thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Smash that like button if you enjoyed what you saw. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy videos all about silver stacking, coin collecting, precious metals, and all that fun stuff. And please ring that notification bell so you can see when I upload my next video. And as always, have a great day. Yeah.